Mr. Trump, your campaign website to this day argues that more visas for highly skilled workers would, quote, decimate American workers. However, at the CNBC debate, you spoke enthusiastically in favor of these visas. So which is it? I'm changing. I'm changing. We need highly skilled people in this country, and if we can't do it, we'll get them in. But, but, and we do need, in Silicon Valley, we absolutely have to have. So we do need highly skilled. And one of the biggest problems we have is people go to the best colleges. They'll go to Harvard, they'll go to Stanford, they'll go to Wharton. As soon as they're finished, they get shoved out. They go, they want to stay in this country. They want to stay here desperately. They're not able to stay here. For that purpose, we absolutely have to be able to keep the brain power in this country. So you, you are abandoning the position on your website. I'm changing it and I'm softening the position because we have to have talented people in this country. And, and you're not releasing the discussion with the New York Times behind closed that doors. That is correct. Which will have some asking whether on your immigration policies you are really just playing to people's fantasies, no, I'm not which playing. is a tactic you praised in your book, The I'm Art of the play. Deal. I'm not playing to anybody's fantasies. I'm playing to the fact that our country is in trouble, that we have a tremendous problem with crime. The border is a disaster. It's like a piece of Swiss cheese and we're going to stop it. We're going to stop people from coming into our country illegally. We're going to stop it. Senator Cruz, not long ago you proposed quintupling the number of these foreign worker visas. After you announced for president, you reversed yourself, citing reports that the program was being abused. But that abuse had been around long before your 180. In fact, it was so bad just a few months earlier that a bipartisan group of senators called for an investigation and you declined to join them. Isn't it a good thing that the American public didn't trust Ted on that one? Well, the abuse of the H-1B program has been rampant, and in the face of that H-1B abuse, I have proposed and promised as president that I will impose a 180-day moratorium on the H-1B program to implement a comprehensive investigation and audit, because you've got U.S. companies that are firing American workers, bringing in foreign workers, and forcing them to train their replacements. And I would note that is not dissimilar to what we discovered at the last debate concerning the hotel that Donald owns down in Florida. Down in Florida, that hotel has brought in hundreds of foreign workers. And, and afterwards, it was really striking. I watched a CNN interview D Donald did where he explained, he said, well, the problem is you can't find Americans who are qualified or who want to work as waiters and waitresses. Now, let me ask the people here, how many people here have worked as a waiter or waitress? millions across this country. That is an astonishing statement. You know, Marco's dad started as a bartender. My dad started washing dishes. And yet, you know how many Americans wanted those jobs? Roughly 300 applied. Donald hired 17. And that's why this New York Times tape is so troubling. Because what's been reported is that Donald told the editorial board of the New York Times, what I'm saying on immigration, I don't believe. I'm not going to build a wall. I'm not going to deport people. This is all just rhetoric for the voters. Now, if he didn't say that, he has an easy solution. Simply release the tape. But for everyone at home who's mad at politicians okay. who lied to us, Donald's record right now, as he's standing here, okay. his record right now is one of repeatedly hiring illegal aliens and up, using sir. American work. Go ahead, Mr. Trump. First of all... I've had tens of thousands of people working for me, most of which, almost 98, 97, 98 percent of the people in this country, from this country, I'm very proud of it. You have a club in Palm Beach, Florida called the Mar-a-Lago Club. It's a very, very successful club. It has a very short season. It's called The Season. And it goes from November till March. It's a few months, five months at the most. People don't want a short-term job. They don't want. So we will bring people in and we will send the people out. All done legally, all done with a process that's approved by government, 100 percent approved. We bring people in, we bring them out. When we can, we hire people from Palm Beach or West Palm Beach. But we bring people in, we bring them out, we want to hire as many Americans as we can. But they don't want part-time, very short part-time jobs. Understood. Thank you. That, that's not accurate. I'm sorry, Megan. That's not accurate. That's my. There were th at least 300 Americans that applied last year. None of them were hired. They, some of them have been wrong. interviewed. It's wrong. They were not hired. And here's wrong. why he does it this way. Let me explain why he hires them H2B. Because when you bring them in this way, when you bring someone in from abroad on one of these visas, 
they can't go work for anybody else. They either work for you or they have to go back home. You basically have them captive. So you don't have to worry about competing for higher wages with another hotel down the street. And that's why you bring workers from abroad. You argue that you're here to fight on behalf of the American worker, but when you have chances to help the American workers, you're making your clothes overseas and you're hiring your workers from overseas. Go ahead, sir. The, the, the other hotels during the season, they do the same thing. They take in a lot of people because you can't get them. They take in a lot of people. Long-term employees, we don't do that. But short-term employees, we have no choice but to do it. And other hotels in that very, very hot area. It is a very hot area. It Americans is very, very hired, hard to get, get people. But other hotels do the exact same thing. Yeah. And just so you understand, just again, this is a legal process. This is a procedure. It's part of the, the law. I take advantage of that. There's nothing wrong with it. We have no choice. All right. Donald, you could resolve this issue very quickly by simply releasing the New York Times tape. Because listen, maybe it's right this that you didn't the tell them you're this, misleading the American people. The tapes people. were not on the, the case, subject. The I, I, if you didn't tell them that, the tapes will prove you're innocent. Okay. But if, in fact, you went to Manhattan and said, I'm lying to the American people, then the voters have a right to know. No, no, no you're the liar. You're the lying guy up here. Times. You're the, Why you're the you one. Why don't you release the you're tape? The one. Release the you're the one. Now, let Why me just you, tell you. Let me you just say, excuse me. I've given my answer, Lion Ted. I've given my answer. All right, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. We have more to get to. Gentlemen, the next time.